I recently ordered the new Ab Carver Pro. And this isn't as seen on TV product, but I decided to order it on Amazon because I didn't know if there would be like memberships or upsales or something crazy like that. Plus, I'm an Amazon addict. <laughs> anyway, this thing looked really cool on TV and it says simple, but not easy. And I'm scared to death of this thing. And let me tell you why. Can you see? So that's how it works. And my big concern is I'm kind of a klutz and I'm afraid I'm gonna do a total face plant and break my nose. That's my biggest fear. The reason I bought this is obvious. It's obviously for my abs, which I really need to work on, and also for what I call armpit tits. So all this flabby area here, which is um, really bad. And then of course working my back here, because armpit tits go all the way around. So that's my goal. Um, is to really work on my core strength, of course, my abs, hips, and arms. Hopefully it comes with instructions. Oh, I simply required six of the handlebars. So a question somebody asked me when I originally ordered this on Amazon is whether it comes with the knee pads that are shown in the video, and it does. Actually, that's these right here. So the knee pads are included, although I have this really thick mat and it's Hemingway. And so I'll give you a link to that as well. This is the best mat and I use it for my T25 workouts, um, Zumba, and everything else I do because probably not ideal, but I prefer to work out barefoot. So I like a nice thick pad to work out on. Of course, it doesn't really matter barefoot with this because you don't use your feet. It comes with knee pads. It's a little wrap, which is always good for hours of fun and instructions. to put together, no tools required, so no major assembly. Yay! <laughs> there we go. All done. And that's that. Warning, serious injury or death. <laughs> they wrote that for me. So here's the knee pads that come included, and they're not going to get lost. You're not going to like lose one sock and not the other because they're attached. They should do this to socks and shoes, actually. So here we go. Are you ready to test it out? Here goes. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm going to scoot back. Knee pads are nice. <laughs> so this is a pretty serious workout. I can feel it immediately in my abs. <laughs> I'm afraid to go too far. I'm scared to death I'm going to face plant. Wow. <laughs> Very cool. I like it. This guy goes all the way down, doesn't he? Alright, here we go. One more try. All right, practice, 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 practice. You know what, I'm gonna go hop online and check out the instructional videos. I think that'd be a good idea. We're back, Slim's here too. And this is me doing the Ab Carver Pro workout, the real workout for the first time after finally reading the instructions and watching a couple of instructional videos. And let me just tell you, the fitness experts on YouTube make this thing look easy. But I'm a real woman, I'm 40-something, I'm completely out of shape, so I'm going to do the beginner's step one exercise for the Ab Carver Pro. Hello, Sam. Are you in position? Are you ready to do this? All right, here we go. You've just placed your knees on the pads here, and what I've done for this beginner's workout is I've got a box right here. I don't know if you can see it right there. So it suggests that you use a wall so that you can easily reach a limit and come back. And as a beginner, it suggests 12 inches, which is not very much of a roll. 
So they're not asking you to do it like the infomercial the first time out, which is good. The App Carver Pro has some unique features for an ab roller specifically, and one of them is that it won't roll back on you. So it's, it's easier not to face plant with this, plus it's wider, it's got thicker grips, so it doesn't wobble all over the place. So it'll roll out, and then it rolls back, so it actually helps you get back in position. So that's what makes this thing super cool and worth 39 bucks. I'm gonna start in this position. You're supposed to pull your abs in and arch your back slightly, not do this number. You're not supposed to arch your back like this, but you're supposed to arch your back slightly and pull your abs in. For the beginner, you're supposed to have a stop point. So I have a box and mine's about two feet instead of 12 inches. And you're supposed to do 10 forward, five to each side. So that's what I'm gonna do. Ready? Here we go. Three, four, I'm extremely out of shape. Five, this is the beginner's workout. Oh, you know what, I just remembered. Your toes are supposed to be down, and I had my toes up, so see your toes are supposed to be down here. Where was I? Okay, six. Six. Seven. Eight. Wow, I can feel that in so many places. Nine. Not just my abs. Ten. Now here's my first time going to the side. One. Two. Three. Four. Holy stuff. Five. This is good for those low handles, obliques, I think they call them. One, two, three, four, five. <sighs> so there you have it. That's the beginner's workout. Toes on the ground, very short movements. Um, they say to expect to be very sore, even from the beginner's workout. It felt pretty good. I feel like I could have done twice that, or I could have moved out to three feet instead of two feet, which they suggested one foot, but I'm really not going to push it. Anyway, I just wanted to show you this does work for real people, out of shape people, overweight people, not just for fitness pros, although they make it look so much easier. I'm out of breath, and that was just, what, 10, 5, and 5, and very limited, very beginner. But you know what? I love this thing. I can see great potential with it, and I could seriously use some help in the abs and tummy and, and hips department. What do you think, Slim? You want to give this a try? You ready to do your ab rollers? Here we go. Oh, no, no. You got nice abs already, huh? <laughs> That's a no-go from Slim. <laughs>